All right, let's talk about adapters for Sony E-mount to put some Canon class on there. So one of the first videos I did on this channel was talking about uh, this adapter here, the Comlight adapter, one of the first affordable but uh, solidly made and kind of good working adapters out there and it still is kind of working quite nicely. But there was uh, another version that came out um, at some point made by KNF. But as you can see, it's basically the same adapter from the outside, no USB port. They updated the inside a bit. Now it's a little bit less reflective. With the calm light, you kind of got some interesting light leak, light flares uh, when you shoot uh, directly into the sun or like light is coming from above. But sometimes that actually works for the style. So like with this 85 um, Canon class, uh, I really liked it because it kind of flared quite a bit um, in certain areas and uh, in certain shooting scenarios. But I really liked it because it was like cinematic light leaks right inside a camera. So this works for me, but it's not really too bad. But those are still available and work really good and are good for a low budget or for small price. They are really solid. We will test the AF in a minute, but there's this one. This is out for quite a bit now and the prices uh, got a bit uh, down, of course. Uh, this is the Sigma MC11 adapter and especially when you use Sigma lenses, this is the most solid lens adapter you can get for the money. And even with Canon class, even older ones, it works pretty good. AF is quick uh, in stills mode at least. In uh, video mode you kind of don't get any AF with any adapter. So, and then there's those, uh, this is the Viltrox, I think this is the original one and this is the updated version. This is a focal length reducer, so this has an optic inside and is made for APS-C sensors to get full frame look and depth of field with full frame lenses on APS-C cameras like the A6400, 500 and 300 and A6000. I have another video about this adapter out, uh, but I also have those. And the same thing here, AF works quite good in stills mode, but not really or not at all in video mode. So let's put those out. Um, this is the KNF and MC11. And now I really have to say you don't really get the same AF speed and performance as with this native Sony lens or in this case in Sigma lens. Um, but still quite a few good Canon lenses out there. Okay, let's put on the KNF concept and test it with the good old Canon 24-105. Um, in stills mode at least. So AF is on. We are in continuous mode, um, which works fine. And we are in flexible spot and um, yeah, it works. It kind of does get AF quite a bit. So it basically works just fine. Maybe not as quick, but with this old lens it is fine. Let's test this with the much more modern and right out of the cage as you can see right there it's quite quick and responsive you have continuous autofocus and also single of course and you have all the modes here even in wide area it finds autofocus quite good so even with the KNF concept the um, AF 
pretty much works good. Let's put on the MC11 from Sigma. And it's a bit snappier, I think, with the MC11 and you get more uh, supported lenses. So this is good, right? Just select flexible spot here. And I'm switching between this and this, as you can see, pretty good, right? So this is good. So there you go. Um, if you want to have good AF quick in stills mode and good support with current and a little bit older lenses and with the Sigma lenses and with the Canon class, go with the MC11. It also comes with an USB cable, but make sure don't lose it. It's a special cable. Uh, it needs a special connection and you can update the MC11 and uh, keep up with all those lenses and even older lenses uh, come to the supported list of lenses. So this is nice. And also you don't get any reflections inside. It's really solid. Lens communication is good. Um, the camera supports this lens adapter a bit more and you are good to go for a little bit less money. You get a solid one with the KNF or Comlight. It's basically the same. So this is still in my bag. Also goes on to the FS7 with the 24 to 105 most of the time. And uh, yeah, you're good to go. So yeah, still good, still quite a bit better than before, but it's also because the AF system of those new Sony cameras or new Sony cameras are much better now. So with the A7R Mark III and the A7 III, you get good AF in stills mode with the MC11 and all the lens adapters or cheaper ones, even with the Metabones. But I think the Metabones is way overpriced still. Uh, even the focal length reducer is um, overpriced. You get better or good performance for less money with the Viltrox. Um, and yeah, still no AF in video mode though. I mean, with the Sigma lenses, uh, you kind of get AF in video mode as well with the MC11 at least, but it's quite slow and also quite loud. If I go ahead and put on here the AF in video mode with the native lens, um, you basically don't hear anything at all. It's quiet and snappy. Yeah, so this works much better with the native Sigma lenses, but you kind of get away with the MC11 and the Sigma art lenses in video mode with the A7R Mark III and A7 III, but I really wouldn't trust the AF in video mode. For stills, you're good. So. Yeah, that's about it in terms of lens adapters for the Sony E-mount in 2019. Um, still good, still usable. And yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions about lenses and adapters and stuff like that, let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, see you in the next one.